Nonviolent communication. The theory of nonviolent communication provides us with a number of techniques to help us stay in control of difficult situations. All too often, our emotions take over and cause us to lose our temper or get upset. Often, bizarrely enough, a conversation in which we don't show enough assertiveness turns into a downright slanging match because we don't have the necessary tools at hand to express our emotions correctly. We could distinguish between two forms of communication, the jackal and the giraffe. The giraffe is open, respectful, assertive and not judgmental. The jackal interprets, accuses, judges, reproaches and manipulates. If we want to create a rapport when communicating, we better leave the jackal in a cage and release our inner giraffe. Let's have a closer look at a technique to do exactly that. The method of non-violent communication comprises four consecutive steps. The first one is observation. Stick to the facts. Do not interpret. Do not judge. All you do is observe and put in words what you're observing. For instance, I can see that what I noticed is that I have done what I hear is that you and so on and so forth. Step two is the emotion. Put in words how you feel about it. In fact, there are only four basic emotions. Anger, sadness, fear and joy. All others can be seen as derived from those four. So use sentences such as I feel hurt, or I'm deeply touched, or I'm very disappointed, or this irritates me, and so on. Step three is about the need. Express what you find important, what you need, which values you adhere to, what you would appreciate to see respected. Phrases such as, I've always found it important to, or I would like, or what counts for me is that, are going to do that for you. Step four is your request. Point out unambiguously what you expect from the other person. What are your concrete desires or suggestions in this context? End the conversation with phrases such as, that's why I want to ask you to, or I insist on you doing, or I want you to immediately, and so on and so forth. Let's have a look at an example. A colleague has asked for a few days leave without discussing this with you beforehand. This messes up the planning which you have so meticulously drawn up. You want to discuss this with your colleague. So, step one, stick to the facts. I've noticed that you've applied to our manager for leave without seeing me first. Step two, express how you feel about that. That irritates me because it makes me lose the overview as far as planning goes. Step three, tell him what you need. I need this overview to plan holidays correctly for everyone. And step four, tell him what you want him to do. What I would like you to do is discuss these things with me first. Use this technique when you want to communicate less like a jackal and more like a giraffe.